Well, we're standing this morning. That's a good development. But uh, I've still got to milk the mother. It's not strong enough to suckle on its own yet. It's much better than it was, which is fantastic. And she still likes it, which is good. So we still need a bit of, huh? maybe it'll work. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to milk you. <laughs> yeah. Hey babes, I'm glad to see you're up and about. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get, um, or are you gonna nurse on your own? <laughs> you're still very skinny. I wonder if I helped her. I've been bottle feeding her through the night. Milking and bottle feeding through the night. So it's paid off for this early lamb. Early as in the mother, it was, uh, yeah. Now, can we go in here? Just let it suckle. It's yours. Come on. Stay, stay. Up. Okay, see, this is the problem, is she hasn't learned to let it suckle. And I'm so glad it's finally standing. Now. Now, come here. Here's the... Come on. Ooh, your mouth is cold. I should... Not good. Okay, maybe I am going to flip the O and feed again that way rather than bottle feed. Here we go. Here's the mama. And here's the lamb suckling. And the mother's being very good for a first time mother, allowing me to flip her over comfortably and allowing her lamb to feed. Inca, get out. Out. Inca, out, out, out. This yo is getting very relaxed, which is good. And the lamb is suckling. So hopefully it's warm, its mouth will warm up. And I won't have to milk the yo anymore. There we go. Yeah, that's your baby. That's your lamb. Let's see. Can you get up again now? Good baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're good mama. Let's see. Do you want to go back in there and do a little bit more suckling? Come on. No? Okay. Oh, maybe you do. There we go. Videoing and doing this is it at the same time is not easy. Oh, she found it herself. Good girl. This lamb is a fighter for being an early lamb. So sad about the two lambs last night being born. They were much too early. This yo lamb probably could have been. Let's see, find the nipple. Find it. Find it. Gotta find it on your own. You gotta start finding it on your own. No, okay, here you go. Um, the two that were born in the middle of the night were just too premature and needed at least 10 more days or seven more days. This yo lamb 
and her sister, who was born dead, probably could uh, have done another week in the womb as well. But you never know why a lamb is born premature. The one, um, the twins that were born last night premature, I know they were whacked on that gate when uh, that yo spoke, spooked going out yesterday morning. And I even commented, I think, on the video, I hope she didn't kill her lambs, but that's obviously what happened, sadly. And so she aborted them. Very good, baby. Yeah. Yeah. To learn how to find it yourself. Okay, now she's so relaxed, she's just lying there. <laughs> yeah, well, almost just lying there. <laughs> going to find our way there. See, I've been milking her so much, she's not used to her lamb suckling on her own. Just stay still. Just stay still. Let your baby find its way. <laughs> stay still. Let your baby find its way. She's trying. Because I've been milking and bottle feeding it, it's got the strength to stand up now. Whoops, we've gone past the nipple. But that's a good sign. Look at that tail, okay. You just stay still and let your baby do its thing, naturally, instead of me helping all the time. So the yo that's screaming like crazy had two premature lambs last night. And I put her in here because she was very protective of them from the other sheep. Um, and they're dead. So I'll have to clean that up. But now I have to put her out in the field with the flock that is not in lamb. Um, I left her with this babysitter who I have to treat because she's lame. You're lame, aren't you? Can you go in? Good girl. Come on. I'm going to treat you um, after. Come on. Good girl. Okay. Now you get to leave. This is going to be interesting if this is going to work or not. It's going down laneways across fields and hopefully... She won't jump a fence into the flock of in lamb yos because I don't want her to be. So this was her first time lambing. So it's really sad that her first lambs were premature. So I'm hoping she's not going to go like a bat out of hell and jump fences and just take it easy. Oh, there's quite a wind. It has been deluging the last number of hours and all last night, pouring rain. Okay, Inca, stay there. Stay. 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 Stay, dogs, stay. Come here, girl. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, this is going to take more than I thought. Go on. Turn that way. Leave it, Inca. Leave it. 
Okay. There we go. Now, hopefully she'll go across the driveway and out into the field of daffodils. And then we go across that field to the other flock. She has to bypass the rams, which is the hard part. Now you're not to jump the fence, girly pearly. Do not jump the fence into the rams. There we go. Okay, in cut. Okay, I better close these gates so the rams don't get out now. Well, it's definitely different from walking amongst the flock from yesterday. At least the sun is shining. And they're all spread out and roaring at me, thinking I'm bringing, bringing extra food. The horses you can see up in the wind charger field, those two ladies. That's the area when lambing outdoors in this field, that tends to be the area where they lamb there's a hollow in the land that's perfect. Those two are just lolling about, chewing their cud. That's the tree I was hiding under yesterday. That big tree right there. Oh, you're getting up now. They all think I'm gonna be feeding them something, but I'm not. This is a copper beech that we planted a number of years ago. Anyway, look at that. Such a difference walking out here in the sunshine rather than the sleet. And nothing is happening yet. With all the sheep manure out here, there's loads of bird food. The chip chaffs have just arrived from Africa. We heard them yesterday morning. Their immigration return, so soon the swallows. Do you see all those manure flies? They're on all our manure and breeding and feeding the bird life. A vital component to having livestock is for them to create bird food. Look at those. That's loads of bird food, early bird food for birds. Oh, and you saw another beetle, loads of insects. That's what's so important about manure, for biodiversity, to feed birds and the soil. Manure is a huge vital component. I'm still helping and doing a gentle persuasion. Come on. I'm still slightly having to hold our head <laughs> in position. It's never a good sound when the yo is grinding her teeth, but at least she's allowing the lamb to suckle now. Any moment now, she might stand up. But a premature lamb is difficult work. And she's actually being really good mama. Though, 
when she's standing up, she won't let the lamb suckle. So I found her lying here and just put the lamb against her and it worked. Now, I'm going to put you on your knees so that you can continue suckling. Because if you stand up, you're not going to get the suckle. Come here. Come on, suckle. There we go. See, it's her instinct as a lamb to stand up. But she wouldn't get to the nipple. Or the tease, or whatever you want to call it. So... It's fighting against instinct to suckle. There we go. Now that's the way we want it. Now if it stands up, it's going to be too far away from the teeth. So I don't want it to stand up all the way. Just if you... Oh. Whoops. Now. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm going to... Put your knees down and then put your head, whoopsie daisy. See, I want you to suckle. <laughs> You're a skinny little scrawny little thing. Come on. Come here. Okay, come here. There we go. Get suckling again. So it's the lamb's instinct to stand. Yet for it to suckle, it needs to be down. And she's a bit of an annoyed mother when she's standing for this to suckle. You good girl. I daren't name her just in case she doesn't make it. Come on. Come in. No, not me. Not me. There. Teat. There you go. Good girl. Come on. I know you want more, but not my hand. There you go. Come on. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. So sweet. Yeah. <laughs> See, the hunchbackness is not the good sign. <laughs> come here. Come on. Now, come here. In there to suckle. Come on. Come on, suckle. More. Come on. There we go. You keep wanting to stand up, but you're not going to be able to suckle like that. No, I had to use my finger to get you to suckle earlier, but get in there. Suck. There you go. If it's kneeling, maybe that'll work for a little while. It's kind of educating the lamb at how to get milk on its own. Come on, without me coming every number of hours, every few hours. No. See, we don't want to have that little hunch there. Isn't that right? Yeah. You're standing up, which is great compared to yesterday. And last night. I was wondering if you were going to be able to stand up at all.
Oh, she's stretched, so she's doing okay. Oops. Let's see. Are you going to get up and try and nurse normally? Well, she's had a good suckle. Trying to get her to stand up. There we go. Now stand still, let her suckle. She's finding it. She's gotta learn how to find it. You stay still. You've gotta stay still. She's still not standing and letting her suckle. At least she's strong enough now to hunt for the teats. This end, whoopsie daisy. Come here, stand up. There. Yay. Oh, no, no, stay still, stay still. Stay still. Come on. Come on. There. Oh. Last. Come on. Look at right there. Come on. There, oh, you keep nearly getting it. There, yay. No, not my fingers. No, not my fingers. Go in there. You're nearly there, not my fingers. Come on.
Oopsie daisy. Uh, the ewe's getting tired of standing. Well, she got a good feed anyway. Okay, yeah, we're all trying. We're all trying. I'm gonna leave them be for a while. And we're gonna go in for our Sunday lunch. Isn't that right, Inca? Yeah. You're helping out, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs>